Hey, 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 it's your girl, Evelyn, and I am back with another video. And listen, I'm pretty sure you could tell by the title, like, ooh, okay, she's going to talk about the things, right? And I, you know, I have been debating with myself for some time if I wanted to add my perspective to this dialogue that has been going on for some time about Black women in luxury. And uh, I decided that I did. I decided that there are some things that I think would be beneficial to add into the conversation and get other people's perspective on that I haven't been hearing as much. And so, you know, there's there's some com there's a lot of things that are, people are discussing, and I think that the dialogue is, you know, past due. I think it's very timely. Um, and I think there are some people who are spearheading the conversation about black women in luxury um, very, very well. I think what I want my contribution to the conversation to be is less from a consumerism point of view and more from a creation point of view. Because a lot of the dialogue around black women in luxury right now, which is super important, is almost like, the, why do we even have to justify that we de deserve, you know, luxury experiences, luxury goods, um, things like that, right? Why do we deserve ease? Why do we deserve support? We deserve it because we deserve it, right? Like, so I, I think that the conversations that are addressing that and uprooting, you know, the, the negative mindsets around that are fantastic. I think as someone who is the CEO of her own company, um, who has a high level consultancy um and loves to you know play content creator on the side i i have a luxury consulting brand right and so so my consulting services are a significant investment and i think one of the things that's missing from the conversation about black women in luxury is that as we are allowing ourselves to enjoy luxury we also should allow ourselves to create luxury and charge luxury ourselves, right? And let me say this, I am no way, shape, or form or fashion thinking that I'm the pioneer and that there are lots of Black women or Black people who have been creating luxury brands, businesses, services, products for years, way before I ever existed. But I definitely wanted to throw that in the conversation because I think as a culture, we have mastered consumerism. I think that is an area of our life that we don't need additional support in, right? I think we, we do a very good job of um, spending our resources. And that's not a dig. That's just like factual data. We, we, we People know that if they can market something to our community and we like it, it's going to be wildly popular. What I really want to focus on from my standpoint is the fact that we should also be accepting and looking to our peers and our and, and the diaspora to allow them the space to create luxury without criticism. So a lot of times I've seen, you know, somebody has, you know, a premium product or a premium brand and they get backlash for the price point. And I'm not saying that that's exclusive to our culture. It's not exclusive to our culture at all, but as a black woman, I'm only speaking to us, right? And so I, you know, I don't know where this series is going to go, but I definitely want to hear your thoughts about it. I want us to engage respectfully in the comments that, you know, is this a conversation that you're hearing about not only being consumers of luxury, but also being producers of luxury. And I, and I don't mean that in just goods. Like, yes, there are people creating, you know, luxury makeup, Pat McGrath. There are people who are creating, you know, luxury handbags or, 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 or luxury, um, goods or home goods and things like that and art, but also luxury services. You know, it's okay for that. We don't have to be the bargain brand in every category and in, uh, in order to be accepted in mass. And I think it's okay. Like, you know, there are some things, everyone has a budget, right? And that is relative of what's within your budget and without of your budget. And I think with that being said, I, I would love to see the conversation shift from that is too expensive to, you know what, that's just not in my budget, but good for them. Right. And so, you know, I, I definitely, when I started consulting and coaching, 
was very much on the fence about how I wanted to position my brand, but I knew in order to bring my full self to the table and to give my clients the full transformation that I really wanted to give them and give them everything that I that I desired to give them, that I needed to build a container that's big enough. And so even if you're not an entrepreneur and you're watching this, I think you can understand where I'm coming from that I didn't, I didn't want to feel like I had to self-sacrifice in order to serve well. And I want the same for people who, who other black women, other black people who have businesses to feel like if you know that your service or your product is high quality, that I want you to let go of the guilt that it needs to be for everybody. Everything is not for everybody. Let's take something, for example, like Depends. I know that's probably the most random example. Everybody doesn't need Depends and everybody doesn't want Depends, but they have a market, right? And so just just like there are luxury hotels and then there are bargain hotels, just like there are luxury handbags and there are bargain bags, They're just like there are Michelin star restaurants and then there are fast food restaurants, right? There, There is room in the marketplace for black luxury producers. And I really want to see that space expand. Now, the key to that is you have to know what it takes to be a luxury brand. Like you have to know what goes into it. And I think sometimes people look at the price point of luxury uh, products and services and what they think other people are making. And they don't know all of the dynamics and the systems and the pieces that justify that that price point. So it's not just about price point, but I think, um, I think this is what I want to add to the conversation that at least to start, you know, I'm throwing my hat in there and say, I am fully in support of the people who are pioneering this movement. I am not pioneering this movement, uh, but I definitely am a, am a woman who enjoys luxury from all types of brands. Um, some categories I can pass on luxury on and it doesn't mean those things are too expensive. That just means I that's not how I choose to use my resources in that area. But I'm also someone who offers premium products and services. And, um, you know, fortunately for me, you know, my clientele are very accepting. Matter of fact, I charge premium prices in my consultancy, but my clientele, because of the value they're getting, feel like they're getting a steal of a deal. And that's kind of the balance that I've wanted to create, that I've wanted to be well compensated at a high level, at a premium level, what some may consider a luxury level, um, to... I wanted to be compensated at that level, but I also wanted to feel like that my clientele felt like they were getting an amazing deal. And I felt like that was a win-win. I felt well compensated. They felt well taken care of. Everybody wins, right? And like, that's what I teach my clients to do. And it's so funny because I teach it from a culinary point of view. Um, and I've actually coached with, I mean, I've consulted and coached other people from a non-culinary point of view. And people are like, can you take what you're doing? Even my current clients are like, can you take what you're teaching us and like make it not about chefs, um, which, which I may do in the future. But for this particular series, it may just be this one video. It may be other videos in this series. I knew that I wanted to have a jumping off point of talking about black women in luxury from the perspective of don't just consume, but it's okay to be a producer. So let me know what you think in the comments below, you know, um, what questions, what do you want? Are you interested in this topic? Do you want to discuss this topic here? I think, you know, luxury is a form of self care. When you think about the definition of luxury, um, it's about ease and it's about, you know, um, quality and we all deserve that. So would love to know your thoughts in the comments, um, your perspective on what I've shared, or if you have a different perspective, any kind of videos you want me to do in this topic. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.